It is the Stuff the Bus event, and this is such a wonderful opportunity for folks to help out the local kids in our communities who are headed back to school this year and need some school supplies, especially with the fires going on. You can imagine there's going to be a lot of kids who need things. And so we want to go out live this morning to the Walmart on Antelope, where we're joined by Pam Walton. And Pam, this actually starts at 11 a.m., and so I know we're still a little bit ahead of it, but what is happening today at two different locations? Okay, well, thank you. I hope you can hear me with my mask on unless you want me to take it off. But we are excited to be out here with uh, uh, partnering with Walmart and all of the community that shops. And we're going to be, I'm going to take this off. And we're just going to be uh, collecting school supplies for all the kids that need them. Backpacks, paper, uh, binders, you name it, erasers, pencil boxes. And it just helps the kids uh, have a successful school year. And, and talk about the need after a year like COVID and the pandemic. And now even with the fires happening and so much of our community being impacted by that, are you finding that there's a certain age group that you're in need more of this year or certain supplies that you need more of? Well, the truth is we do uh, kindergarten through eighth grade. Okay. And basically the, the same need is always the same. It's the, the basics. And what we like to do is we go in and we give it, and then they're able to take it home so they can do their homework and, you know, take the stuff there. And then the school has it throughout the whole school year. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're there to do, to make sure the kids' school year is successful from start to finish. Absolutely. Okay, so what do people need to do if they want to help? Is, is it brand new supplies? Do they go into the Walmart and then purchase the items and then come back out and just drop it off? That's right. We try to make it real easy. There's actually a table when you walk in the Walmarts we're at, and it's filled with all school supplies. It's a dollar or less. Oh, wow. We're talking Crayola crayons for 50 cents, binders and ba paper for like 89 cents. So we ask you just to pick some up off the table, and when you're done, ring it out and bring it to us out front at the school buses. It's very simple. We try to make it very cost effective, and you can give, I mean, we've had people buy $5 worth, 50 cents worth, up to $100 worth. So just stuff the bus with all these items that the kids need. And like I said, we make it really uh, cheap, under a dollar, and it's the items that they most need. Okay, and I think the and bus is like coming. And it looks like the buses are here. Oh, cool. There it is. Woo! Okay, how many buses will be there today, at least at that location? Uh, at three at, at each location. We'll be at each Walmart location located at the 5821 Antelope. Uh, road, and then we're at 7901 Watt Avenue, right there on Alberta, I believe. Yeah, yes. Alberta. All right. Well, it is wonderful so just in time to see the buses come in, right? <laughs> yes, we're very excited. So come help us stuff the bus, buy the school supplies, pencil boxes, so that we can give kids the best school year ever and make them successful. I love it. I love it. Pam, thank you so much. You can also learn more about how to donate your time. And if you want to be a part of this, just like Pam is, we'll have all their information linked up to our website, Good Day Sacramento. But SAC Helping Hands Foundation uh, is where you can go online and also on social Yay. media. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good luck stuffing the bus. All right. They make it so easy, guys. Right. Exactly. Yeah, great. Yeah. Yeah. Good, yeah. Great and prices, too. What, what great producing you know had the bus pull up right I know that the other Terry Haggard yeah. had to come right into frame. Yeah. well done T <laughs> <laughs>